What's up, guys? Girls? Family? What's going on? And we got a lot of comments in here already. What's yeah, up, Downey? Do. Hoonigan? You here. just bought a bunch of uh, something. We got five likes. David? Jerk me, Josh? Uh, who else? Adam? David has a special request. <laughs> I don't know about all that. What are we drinking today, Lex? I have the Bud Light Seltzer. <clears throat> Tanner is not a fan. Boom. Natty Light. <laughs> Natter days. The original. I actually used to drink Natty Light. Like, you drank Natty yeah. Light like it was going out of style. Yeah, when I turned 21, you know, had a it little bit cheap. of fun. What's up, Tim? What's going on? Q's fan. What's up, Cameron? ATV addicted. Willie. Here we got some people coming in. I'm gonna wait to get some more people before we talk about this sexy machine Ooh! that's here behind me and explain what the hell's going on. What it do, guys? Hey, what's up, little Gromlin? Justin Cowell. From Australia. Mike J. Brapper Dapper. I like that name. That's cool. Brapper Dapper. Brapper Dapper. I like that. That's catchy. He must be a classy guy. I just bought hey. a 250 and they're amazing. Favorite bike ever. Oh, dude, they're fantastic machines. No day without Natter Days. Cheers to you, man. What's up, Cameron? We're doing good. How about you? Shout out to Christian and Michael. That goes out to uh, Roberto's brothers. What's up, Kelly? Aaron May, what's up, man? Kyle. He Jeff. gets in here with a two stroke. I love the 250X. They are so hard to find now. Yeah, they really are. So I can find a lot of them, but for the most part, they don't have titles and they're clapped out. So when you come across something like this, like you jump on that deal and man, it's a fantastic bike. Rode it earlier and I couldn't be any happier. It's a fantastic machine. Mason's in here. What's up, Mason? I'm gonna see you soon, dude. It's uh, been a while. Yeah, long time. Yeah, that's crazy. Last stream I said if you yeet yeet, I would do all of my online homework. And I kept my side of the bargain. Can I get another yeet yeet for my congratulations? A yeet yeet? Do it. Yeet yeet! There you go. Because <laughs> that's good. Homework's Yeah, fine. man. <laughs> Stay in school. Don't be like me. <laughs> Love the channel. Keep it up, guys. Yeah, I appreciate that, Denver. Drew, how's the head? Oh, yeah. I guess I should show. I don't know why... There, it's I'll actually just... been very no razor burn or anything. It hasn't oh my bothered gosh, him at all. Yeah, it's like my my head was meant for it. Honestly, he's been using the beard oil. Yeah, I think that helps a and lot. That, yeah, definitely. A couple guys recommended that, and uh, photogrammer freaked me out, dude. He hopped in the live and he's like, "No, don't use the razor." And I was like, "Damn it, what did I just do?" But I woke up the next morning and it was fine. But I like doused my head with beard oil, and I actually really enjoy it. I'm definitely not gonna keep it. Because I like appreciate the fact that I still have hair. I mean, you can kind of see my hairline here, but that's all good. <laughs> um, but I will grow it back. I don't think long term. But in the future, it's nice to know that you know if my hair ever gets too jacked up, man, I'm just gonna shave it off and rock the bald look. Because I honestly don't and it mind would be it. Fine. And yeah. I haven't had one single negative. Even your grandparents, they yeah. like. They I were mean, surprised, but they like didn't. It doesn't like. Yeah. They didn't say it looked bad. Like yeah. they were. Their reactions weren't exactly welcoming as everybody else's, but, you know, that's okay. Expected. Uh, expected, exactly. For but that, yeah. Literally. They just don't understand why. The like, internet, why someone would do that. Uh, yeah. The internet can be harsh sometimes, and I, I don't have a single negative comment yeah, about the bald. So absolutely. I was very surprised. It's so like I said, I had some chick in high school that stuck with me to this day. I had a buzz cut back in the day, and for some reason I decided to use, like, no, uh, just the blade. And it was really short. And she called me a cancer patient. I know you. Yeah, you that has stuck with you in front you. of the class. But it, I was just laughed yeah, it yeah. off. It wasn't that big. Your a deal. teacher got upset though. Yeah, yeah. He made it a bigger deal than it was. Like I just laughed about it. It was like, you know, screw you, whatever. Yeah. It's funny, but uh, he made a big deal out of it and like what got if pissed. She's watching. Can she is not watching. She's probably like <laughs> riding a horse right now in some other ways that you probably shouldn't ride a horse. But um, what's up, Cameron? <laughs> Yo, I got hair down All to my right. mid back. Damn, I don't know if I grow it that long, but I do want to grow the mullet back. I had an attempt last year, and that was right uh, before the AIM Expo. I was growing out the mullet, and I just couldn't stand it, man. I, I don't like having like a shaggy hair like around my ears and stuff, so it just drove me nuts. It's just funny when I met him, he had really long hair. I did, man. It was like, all curly down and below his ears. Wispy. Yeah. And it was like blonde. Where's Diesel? Where is Diesel? Diesel's in the house because yeah. sometimes we can't keep track of him, especially when this door is open. Yeah. Um, so he likes to roam. Yeah, he's annoying. He doesn't go far, but yeah, 
Just can't trust them, man, because yeah. uh, we got cats. Yeah, we got cats <laughs> around here, so Diesel is not small animal friendly. He will attack. But he usually just pounces. I, I don't know. I think a cat might do more damage to him. He like came back with a scratch once yeah. on his nose. So. Yeah. I have a 2015 250X. Great bike after a few mods to the carb and airbox. Yeah, so we're going to have to crack the carb open on this thing at some point and see what size jets are in there. Because from the factory, it comes a little bit lean. And uh, that with the uh, airbox mod, I've heard amazing things. Like, this is the bike you want on the trails and... We're gonna wait till we get some more people in here to talk about what is done to this thing. I think that's wrong. Yeah, we, we definitely, definitely got more, more than, than twenty that. people. Yeah, we There's, have more than that. Yeah. How many bikes you got? Like nine. I mean, let's count. I don't know. You you just one, two, three, four, five, one. six, seven, eight. Around eight, nine. Yeah. But yeah, guys, we sold the KX100 today. Might have titled the live stream that too. But yeah, she's gone. Case 100 is gone. Went to a good home. She was a really nice girl, and she couldn't find any up in Michigan, so she came all the way down just to buy the KX100, and I hope it's a great bike. Uh, that was our first rebuild, and she was completely aware of that because she ended up finding the YouTube channel, so <laughs> that's always kind of, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't even say a good thing. When but you would put stuff. it in the description that I did. it was rebuilt, yeah. so it wasn't like... You know, but shock. being our first rebuild, I might be skeptical as a buyer, but man, that thing runs fantastic. Like, it sounds super fresh, and I've probably put, I should have gave her that hour meter I was going to, but I probably put, um, I don't know, eight hours on it, and some hard riding, too, and it was a good break-in, and everything was good. I can show you everything to do to the X. Hey, drop it down in the comments, Robert. Oh, I'd wow. love to we hear some knowledge. Over 100 people. Over in here. 100 people. Dang. Okay. Yeah, it's lagging on my end. It says we have 20, but that's awesome. Do you do YouTube full time or do you have a day job also? Yeah, I get asked that question a lot, and I do have a part time job, and as well as just buying and selling stuff. And I mean, YouTube is my main source of uh, income for the most part, but you know, I have multiple different sources of income, but I'm thankful to just not have like a. to work for anybody, really. Ride the KX250 one time. Yeah, I should, man. It's for sale. I need to do a few things. I need to put the uh, brake line on it and redo the graphics because they're peeling. But uh, I really need to uh, get that thing out and do a video before I sell it. But it's up for sale. I think I'm going to get a good price for it because I've seen a lot of them going for like ridiculous amounts of money. I uh, almost bought a KDX 200 too. That was interesting. I had a whole trip planned to go to Chicago. Like I was dead set. I was going to make an entire weekend out of it. I was going to bail on the boys. Uh, we had another Wayne trip. Yeah, which was awesome. It was super muddy. Everybody was like bailing on us, but it wasn't even that bad. It was, was it? no. It was, no, it was not well bad worth at all. going. Like absolutely, no reason to cancel out on that. But kind of obvious. But what's the differences between a CRF R and the CRF X? So the difference between the R and the X is compression ratios. The transmission is different. It's got a wide ratio transmission. It's got electric start. I mean, come on, for a trail bike, if you don't have electric start, what are you doing, right, Lex? Yeah. How's that? How's that right leg feeling? My I think it, I think it's gonna get like bigger than Stop the other it, one. Stop it! Because yeah, I thought about that on the way yeah. home the other day. I literally was like, I wonder if like that makes a difference. All right. Do you really think it does? I don't think so. I don't think it's that big of a difference. Like you'd have to kick it like three hundred times a day to like. So notice I wondered a if I should start like no, working you're... out just my left leg. Being... No, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, it's not bad. No. I mean, no. it would be benefit. It would be helpful. But like right now, I'm not like to the point that I'm like, I want to get rid of this because it doesn't have an electric start. Personally, I would never own a four stroke trail bike without electric start anymore. Like for but, me, it doesn't make sense. The stuff that I do, like I'm constantly yeah. on, off, yeah. on, off stalling. Like it would just be a nightmare. Uh, the two strokes is a different story because they start like easy first second kick always unless it's super flooded but they're so easy to kick over so the two stroke is the exception quick question do you like moose <laughs> uh yeah i think moose are awesome i've no scratch that i have seen one in person from a distance but i had one this far away from me in a canoeing trip in algonquin canada i was in the boy scouts back in the day and uh, me and my buddy shout out to mitchell we were in the tent i brought a 12 inch knife is all i had to protect me from this giant uh, moose there was a group of them. I think there was like two or three, but we would stay on these islands we Thought like we were safe from the other animals and bears and all this other stuff But this group of moose swam onto the island that we were camped out at We had like a group of probably like five. No, I would say like 10 to 12 of us 
And yeah, in the middle of the night, the footsteps were the scariest part because everything's silent other than like the mosquitoes and stuff. And you just hear it, the big moose footsteps on the ground. Um, I know that was a tangent, but it was a good memory. And I still think about it all the time, like how crazy that could have been if it just like stepped like a couple feet in the other direction and just like snapped my leg or something like that. And what am I going to do with a knife? Like jump on its back and ride it what or something? What did Mitchell have? Did he have anything Nothing, but we were, we were freaking out, dude. It was no joke. But um, that was cool. Good memory. Uh, but we did see the moose the other day swimming from a distance, so I have seen one. Well, let's see. I don't know. Everything seems to oh, be going on. Cool. Uh, oh. Just popped in, but I've had a 250X for eight years, and it's one of the funnest and most reliable trail bikes of all time. In addition to airbox and jets, stainless valves uh, last longer than stock titanium. Gotcha. Oh. That's good to know. Thank you. That was a super chat. Oh yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you for the donation. That means a lot. Yeah, it says we're experiencing an error right now, and YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. All right, we'll see if it catches back up. It should. It shows we have full connection. It just does this sometimes. So bear with us, guys. Bear with us. If I have to restart this, I will. ATV addicted. Check out T Buds, kid. Yeah, we're jacked up right now. I don't even know what to do. Shut it down! Oh. Caught back up in the viewfinder. We'll see if it... Before I bail, we'll see if it rebuilds. Someone said it's back. Somebody says it's back. Hmm. Alright, we'll hang out. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If you meant, like, moose tubes for a second... Oh. So I went on a whole tangent about animals, but he spelled it moose, so you know what? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Are you ready for four-stroke maintenance? Dude, I've had a lot of four-strokes. They honestly don't have that much maintenance involved, like some people think. I don't own stuff long enough to worry about rebuilds and whatnot. Alright, guys. Uh, let me know how the stream is doing, if I need to restart this, because I will. But uh, anybody who just got in here... Oh, oh it's back. healthy again. It's okay. okay, thank God. Thanks for that, so YouTube. Random. That's why I don't like live streaming sometimes. And the fact that I have to stretch a wireless signal this far, I promise I will have it hardwired eventually. But even the connection that we have out here in BFE just isn't that good. Like, we pay for 100 megs and we don't even get that. So I'm doing what we got. And uh, I don't like live Sweet. streaming on the phone all the time. It is a nice change, but what's up? The people are saying it's back. Oh, yeah, we're back in business. Um, once again, thank you for the super chat. Rob John. Shout out to Rob John. Appreciate that. What happened to Boomhauer? Uh, yeah. I like how they spelled it. Boom, Boomhauer. Now yeah, we call him Sonic Boom now because he dyed his hair blue. Uh, but yeah, he had a rough trip. He flipped over the handlebars and went down into a ditch. And uh, damn near got hurt pretty bad. But he banged up his knee a little bit and he was able to ride the rest of the day. So he's all good and uh, he'll be out uh, soon enough. But Wear gear. Guys. I think the quarantine has been good for him because he's been able to uh, ride during the weekends. And he works weekends. So as soon as he goes back to work... You might not see Boomhauer as much, but, you know, I'll make time. He and, rides a lot during the week, too. Yeah, like, on his own. He rides a lot. Yeah, during the week, we'll make time to check up on Boomhauer. Two strokes are nothing, but what? Is a two-stroke fast or a four-stroke? They're both fast in their own ways. Uh, but four-strokes have come a long way. Like, in the early stages of the four-strokes, like, there was no competition. Like, the two-strokes were just so much faster, and the four-strokes were just kind of turds that just were plagued with issues. But a lot of the newer four-strokes are... Superior in a lot of ways. Where do you guys like to ride? I mean, Wayne National Forest. We're very uh, lucky to have land like that semi-close to us, and it's a beautiful section of woods. And I mean, it's awesome to be you know semi-close to a national forest. I guess we're thankful. Isn't the X Road legal too? Uh, not from the factory, no. But it's very easy since it has a headlight and tail light. You can get it set up like pretty mint. What made you switch from liking two strokes to four strokes? Uh, damn it. We're having issues again. I'm over it. The joys of live streaming. What do we do, Lex? Do we shut it down or just wait it out again? Uh, do we need to like move in the house or something? Would be better. Oh, now there's no data. Yeah. At all. Wow. I guess. Shut it down. Ah. Uh, oh, wait a second. Have any recommendations for wireless earbuds? That's a good question. Hmm. Very interesting. See what's going on on OBS.
Okay, just jump back up. Come on, stream. We can do this. Slowly coming back. It's working now. Oh, thank you. I guess we'll just roll with it until it re-updates. How long have y'all been riding for? So, let's see. I've been riding since the age of three. Um, but let's see, the last five years, four years, I've been riding the most. As a kid, I rode a lot, but I had, you know, sections like in high school when I didn't ride and stuff like that, but now more than ever. Lexus, what, three years now? Yeah, three, four. Three four, years, yeah. four years, but like one year off-road. Wouldn't you say less than yeah, that? Less than yeah. that. I mean, but, you know, around here and stuff. Yeah. But trail bit. riding specifically, you know. Yeah. A couple months. Right. Yeah. All right, we're back. Why uh, did you get the 250X? So we're about to talk about that here in a second. What's up, Mud Rides? What's going on, man? All right, let's see. We got to catch up. The 450 uh, four strokes beat the 250 strokes new. What did you he, say? He did say, yeah, moose the animal. Let's oh, yeah, 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 sweet. That's All good. right. Have any recommendations for wireless earbuds riding? Uh, good question. Um, shoot. I was going to say, you have some. You I got really some like. in my pocket right now, but they don't work when you ride. I tried it once. I actually have it on video. I hear a Grom in the background. That's funny. Definitely sounds like a Grom. But, um, Why don't they work? Dude, I had them. I put them on. They're like the AirPod style, but they're off-brand. And I could not get my helmet off. I got my helmet on and it pulled like dude it was like ripping my eardrums like it was so painful so I didn't think about that because they like the earbuds they stick out a yeah. little bit so they would catch on the there's actually a company that specifically makes them to wear with motorcycle mm -hmm. helmets I don't remember the name or I would drop it down in here I reached out to them they didn't hit me up so I'm not gonna plug <laughs> um, how much would the CRF 250F cost uh, if you're talking about the new ones Fairly expensive. Loving the haircut. Thank you, Levi. Jacob S. Just get an R already. No, dude. Why would you get a race bike for the trails? Trust me, that's a that's a mistake, Lex. Why would you do something like that? Do you know of any good riding spots in Colorado? No, I'm far from Colorado. I've only been there to snowboard, and I know nothing <laughs> about the area. Back to Colorado. The 250X and 450X are my dream bike. Uh, AirPods have the same issues. Yeah, don't do that. You can turn on your phone into a webcam. Yeah. Show the bike. Yeah, man, we'll, get, we'll show it here in a second. All right, let's see. Are we all caught up? I think we're pretty much caught up. We're talking about boom power crashing. What else were we talking about? Um, I don't know. Can you show your GoPro setup? There's actually a whole video on that. Yeah, there's a whole video that we just okay. did recently on that. Yeah, my helmet. Probably like a month ago. Opinion on the CRF 150R. Go. I love my bike. I love it, but I love it probably because of everything that's been done to it. Um, definitely as a beginner, I would say to start out with electric start. That is, can be a hassle. It's not a huge deal for me right now. In the future, I would like to have electric start, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, I like my bike. I love it. What's up, Harry Nutsack? How's it, how's it hanging? That's a good one. You have a good head shape to be bald. Thank you. My neighbor has a 2007 CRF 250X with FMF exhaust and electric start. It's a sweet bike, amazing for trails. You'll definitely enjoy it, for sure. So yeah, let's get this bike in and let's talk about it. It's like a mile away, but it's kind of hard to get a, get it in the shop with this camera set up. Here I got it. Boom. That's a good one. All right, guys, so some quick specs. This is a 2006 CRF 250X. The biggest thing is it has electric start. It's almost as lightweight as the R. It's got a wider gear ratio. It's quiet. I like that. This exhaust, man, is really nice. But, uh, yeah, I mean, 
you know, I like Honda bikes, and it's a reliable trail bike. And out of all the four-stroke bikes, um, Japanese-wise, this is pretty much like one of the only options like to consider. Kawasaki has a few options, but I mean, nothing used like this. They have the older KLX 300s, but this thing is a beast, and uh, yeah, it is very clean. Yeah, for sure. Somebody said it's really clean looking. It is very clean, especially for the year. Did you say the year? So 2006. Oh, I don't think it's about. Well, why are we going to talk about a bike that I don't own? What? <laughs> this is not mine, guys. I'm just messing around. This is a close <laughs> friend of mine, Mr. Uh, Sick of Ohio. So, yeah, I'm messing with you guys. And come on, Jeff, come over here. <laughs> We have a guest today on the live stream. There he is. Oh, what is up, you guys? This is Mr. Sick of Ohio's new bike, and uh, I'm super pumped for him. We were talking about it at our trail ride last time, and he's like, man, what's the next step? You know, what's the upgrade? He's coming from the TTR 125, <laughs> and he, he's grown his riding skills a lot. And, man, he started out on the XT, and he just worked his way up, and he's gotten, like, really good as a rider, man, in the short amount of time that we've been doing this, so... I really wanted wanted him to get a full size bike. I mean, we had several conversations. I was like, "Dude, you need to get something full size. You're ready." He was thinking about getting the 150 RB, and we kind of talked him out of it. And yeah. uh, what made you go with this? Electric start. Electric <laughs> start. Man. I had to get that electric start, but I do also have the option if the battery dies to kick it. But yeah, and that and the lightweight. I really was looking at the 250L, but uh, the weight was just maybe. A little bit too much. I rode Tanners uh, on the trails and it felt good, planted, good tires, but it did feel, it felt very similar to like a DRZ, like on the street. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this choice. Um, you want to tell him about the... But, oh yeah, so he's got a cheater mod, no. But uh, this bike nice. actually came with a recluse auto clutch. And I made some comments before in the past about it. <laughs> But I've never actually ridden one, so you can't say something unless you've tried it. And I've got to say, it's freaking awesome. He let me ride it earlier, good man, and I had a blast, dude. It's a very weird sensation. I mean, tell him, like, when you went to bought this thing, like, he thought it was, like, clapped out. Oh, yeah, I pulled the clutch. I'm like, there's, like, nothing there. But until you rev it up a little bit, you don't get feeling in the clutch. And, uh, I mean, I think it just, it just goes. I mean, first gear, you can leave it in first gear and... Just a little bit of throttle and it's, it'll start rolling by itself. So it's it's my first experience with anything like that. I mean, I've seen Graham Jarvis at his setup, but <laughs> who else has one of those? Right. So it's, this it's, was your first time cool. with a recluse clutch. Yeah, that's right? what I said. Yeah. This is my first time ever using an auto clutch. I used it in a really tight section of woods. How was that for the break-in ride? Yeah, that was fun. Very <laughs> muddy. Dude, it was so bad. I took him down into the creek from the reveal videos, and it was like straight down into a rut. And uh, he laid it down once, but he did very good. We got through the creek and then went into the tight section of woods where, man, it was log crossings. We were constantly just going through trees and had to pretty much make our own trails. And it was like the ultimate break-in ride, dude. But he let me ride this thing in that woods, and it was a complete game-changer with that clutch. Like, I, I can't say whether I'm going to have one in the future just because I'm most likely going to end up on a two-stroke. And the fact that it can idle at low speeds, I don't know if it'll be necessary, but... For a four stroke, like this is a game changer. I was able to have both of my hands completely full grip on the bars. So when I'm at low speeds standing up, you have so much more control because you don't have to have like the awkward clutch finger on there. And believe it or not, just that one finger, I mean, the Lexus knows, like it makes a huge difference. So you were able to completely balance and maintain stability and the log crossings and everything. I mean, you can see I'm smiling. Like it was an awesome experience. I've never tried it before. Um, people say things about them, and I don't really know why. Like, I kind of have this perception of, like, an auto clutch as being something that, you know, only older people use or stuff like that, but it's for trail riding. Like, that's what it's for, and it makes complete sense. You can still use the clutch at higher speeds, and, uh, man, I'm completely jealous, dude. You got, like, the best trail bike in the group. Dude, I'm so excited, especially after riding it around for a little bit. Got the hang of it. I mean, it feels, it feels really good, and... Uh, also, something else that I really like about it is the foot pegs. That's what I was going to mention. The foot I pegs like that. swivel. Like, that's my first time ever seeing see anything it. like that. But yeah, oh, they, they see move. It? Sweet. Oh, yeah, yeah. They move a little bit. But yeah. When I first jumped on it, it was a little sketch. And then you jumped on it and noticed the exact same thing. Dude, I was like, oh, what the heck? But yeah, I, I think that would be perfect because I mean, I really need to learn how to stand up. So I'm getting better on the trails, but now's the time that I need to build in the, like, get good habits. 
So mm-hmm. I was hounding her on the last trail ride, dude. I was like honking nonstop. Mm-hmm. Stand up, stand up, and she stood up a lot in the last ride. Are you feeling more confident? With oh, that? Yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Because your bike is set up to stand yeah. up. Yeah, you got the yeah. risers on there. You got a full size bar set up. So absolutely, I recommend it to him to get some bar risers because it really just does bring it up closer to your chest, so you're not hunched over as much. So that's my problem being a taller guy is the fact that I'm like leaning over, which makes it awkward. So if you throw some risers on there, like it's, this bike is awesome. It's gonna be the ultimate trail bike. And this is something I hope he keeps for a while because it's something that you could really uh, just grow on, dude. Like this is, I feel like you can't get much better than this for a four stroke. Like this is what you want. It's awesome, dude, and I'm pumped for you. Uh, thanks for letting me reveal it. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I know it was like last second, and um, yeah. Someone said I also have a CRF 250X for about two years. Absolutely superb bike. Fantastic machine. 250X is gold. So a huge shout out to Mr. Sick of Ohio. Good guy, best of friend. Uh, I'll link it down in the comments here in a second. But go subscribe to him if you want to see content with this bike because I mean we go riding pretty much every weekend that we can. So. You're going to see some content on this bike. I'm sure he'll let me ride it. He rode the 450L. What are your thoughts on that? Dude, I love it. It's It feels similar in, in the, the height, but um, and, and not as fun as low, on low speed, but uh, yeah, it has a ton of power, and the tires just make it so easy to cruise. And, yeah, dude. But yeah, I like that bike a lot. Yeah, it's definitely heavy. I mean, this thing is so much lighter. Um, I would r- way rather be on this than the 450L. I was telling that earlier, and I, I really do mean that. Like, this thing is it's what it's meant for. This is a, a factory trail bike. Um, the 450L is a dual sport. I mean, it's meant to go on the highway, do those trips and stuff like that, which I would like to do, but we mainly just do trail rides. So what's the point in carrying, like, 80 extra pounds of weight and uh, worse performance at the low speed? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. Someone else also said, I was thinking the same thing. I test rode a 450L because I wanted a dual sport, but you cannot beat the 250X. No, dude, this, yeah, there exactly. Go. Good purchase. I'm excited, yeah. I plan to keep this longer than any of the other ones, so. Good deal. Yeah. Just yeah, subdo him. Hey, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Hey, thanks, man. That's hey, awesome. so you are my 400th subscriber. Woo! Rapper Dapper. There oh, we go. Sweet, man. Thanks, man. That's yeah. a good one. I've been in one. a race with uh, Tilly Two Wheel to get to 400. So and we, we've been neck and neck ever since we were at like, I don't know, 100 subscribers maybe. Yep. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. I hope he's in here so he can see. So let me just give him a shout out. Ha. Ah. I found a CRF 250X about six months ago and I raced it for the first time yesterday. Great bike. Sweet. Dude, you're getting all these, like, By the way, my, <laughs> my 250X is road legal, so. Yeah, you'll have to do that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll definitely Be a good build. Trackmaster tires on here. And then... There you go. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Kanda. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. What else? Oh, my gosh. I didn't even notice that. It already has the, the holes. That looks factory. Don't get me wrong. Maybe it's not. That's so definitely what? not What's factory. That Scratch it? that. But it already yeah. has the holes for a license plate. Oh, so that's what it's for? It's not a street yeah. legal title? No. So it, he probably had the older, old school uh, ORV plates, which I still see people get. Like I would rather have that, but most of my stuff I'd rather have street legal. But um, you know all the, the older um, ORVs, they weren't stickers; they were plates, like actual plates. So yeah. it's already got the holes for it. There you go, bud. I love this tail setup. I know, like I do the, too. Uh, the yeah. sleek 450X still has this setup, and you know it just has that small little. Uh... Actually, I don't think that's a running light. Tilly I think it's commented. just a. I think it's uh, just a running light. I don't think it's a brake light. Right. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Tilly? Tilly you said, "What the hell? You cheated." <laughs> that ain't cheating, yeah. man. He got it. So uh, somebody yeah, else so, subbed. Tilly will be right behind, I'm sure. And um, what are your plans for the TTR? TTR. TTR. So <laughs> someone asked. We were gonna do a bro- broke back dual sport adventure. So I mean our plan is to kind of get a bunch of mini bikes and uh dual sport them so make them street legal and i am guilty i haven't found one yet yeah, so yeah yeah that one time he brought the uh, three-wheeler we all thought he picked we didn't know what he picked up <laughs> but i mean that was just awesome i mean i'm happy he brought that but oh yeah yeah so broke back dual sport adventures coming soon so you think we're still gonna go with it dude i would like to rip this for a little while but i i would like to have a mini for long term and have, do different I mean, and th- that way we could also ride with maybe Grom Squad or True. do some street stuff too. Hey man, we still got Groms, so right. you can't no, disregard us. I sold my Groms. 
Yeah, uh, there you go. Update. He sold his Grom. Everybody's selling their Groms, and we're like the last the survivors here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, everybody's going to trail riding, and that's awesome. Yeah. I, I think it's more fun. It's safer. I'd rather see people out on the trails and getting hurt on the street. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's, I feel like it's, uh, you get to talk more, like out on the trails. On the streets, it's kind of like, you know, you're going fast. You're, you know, sure you can talk in the center, but on the trails, you stop a lot. You get to eat food and be out <laughs> in the woods, and that's my kind of stuff. Would somebody say something? No, no, I'm just agreeing with you. Um, let's see, what else? Um, TTR plan, so you do plan on keeping it? Yep, I plan on keeping it. I plan on uh, making it street legal. and I don't know, I'll probably keep it stock because I really oh. like it, how quiet it is. Oh, but yeah. Somebody said, by the way, the 250X already has the extra wire to run to the rear brake for a tail light. Oh, okay, if you ever want to do that. That's Sweet. legit. So, that's nice. All right, I'll definitely do that. Tanner, check your DMs, Tilly said. Oh, I will. How? Will you send me a nude? Um, <laughs> probably. Somebody asked, he asked twice, but 250. Oh my god, Tilly. What? That might be the one, dude. He find his bike? I just messaged him right now. Yeah, he found me a pit bike. Oh, man. Five hours on it. OBO. Do you always gotta like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. 2020 CRF 125F. That's originally what I was gonna go buy, so. It's a 2020? Since I wow. just Since I just sold the, uh, the KX, 20. man. I can justify it. Got another mini, maybe. Tilly, you gotta let me know if you're keeping the 140. I'm not gonna get a mini right. unless you keep the 140. I think you should keep it, get what you want, and uh, just send both of those, dude. That's the ultimate combination. I'm not gonna reveal it because I don't know if you want me to, but dude, how sick would that be to have both of those bikes? Yeah. Like, that'd be legit. Drop back Zach in here. He said, dude, I love the 250X. There cool. you go, man. Cool. You got the drop back approval. Mm-hmm. I'm stoked. Factory Honda rider. Thanks, man. Um, somebody asked, because he's asked multiple times, so I'll Oh, yeah, ask. go for it. Uh, 250L or 450L for our first dual sport. I'm first, 6'2". First dual sport being 6'2". If you're going to do more trail riding, um, I would say the 450L. You're going to have to put some money into it, dude. Uh, you're going to have to get a Vortex exhaust to really um, get the capabilities, and most people do. Like, uh, shout out to Neil. I mean, he did that, like, right away. Vortex, uh-huh. exhaust, everybody does. Wow. For me personally, um, you know, I buy and sell stuff, so I, I just can't justify putting an extra two thousand dollars into a bike that I spent that much. I'm just tighter that way, and it just—if I was going to keep it long term, yes, I would do it. But you guys know me; I don't keep stuff, so I don't want to lose money like that. It's just not going to happen. Um, but if you ride more trails, 450L all the way. Uh, but dude, don't yeah. don't forget about the X. They have an older 450X, which is a great bike too. Tilly said the 140 is staying. The 140 staying. Woo, woo. So I might pick it up. I don't know, dude. That's a really good deal. 2020. That's kind of ridiculous. But I can but, ride it. Yeah, you might you might not want to go back, honestly. Yeah. You might. I wanna, get two bikes. <laughs> actually, we could just sell that and just keep that, right? Okay, awkward. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, what else? Do we have any comments about here that we need to answer? I don't want to... Um, I love it, man. Let me know how it handles. I'm looking for a bike just like it for a while, and I'm looking into getting one like that. Um, uh, so Jeff is going to be a long-term uh, character here on the channel, uh, one of my best mates, and um, he, he's a really talented uh, vlogger, and uh, I'm pushing him to keep going, dude, because uh, he doesn't get the recognition he deserves. So anybody in here, man, subscribe. And uh, show some support, dude, because this is uh, going to keep going. The Brokeback Dual Sport Adventures are going to keep growing. We want to bring some of you guys and ride with us in the future. Like, how awesome would that be? Oh, yeah. Like, for a whole weekend, like, just pick a subscriber, you know? And uh, they, they'll come out, ride, camp, you know? Dude, that'd be cool. Like, yeah. especially, like, one, you know, you can have a big ride. Yeah. But to pick one subscriber, like, hey, you won, to come ride with us. That's awesome. awesome. That, that would be yeah. awesome. Dead yeah. Wheelie. Uh, yeah, other moto vloggers or just subscribers in general. Right. Yeah. Like anybody. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we just got a lot to work out, and this is all new to all of us, so we're just going to grow with it and see where it goes. But, yeah, shout-out to Tilly as well. Everybody in here, man, we appreciate the support, and we're glad to have you here. So, But is this not my – somebody asked if this was my new bike. No, no. no. We just set the record straight. This is Mr. <laughs> Sick of Ohio's new machine, and I couldn't be any happier for him, and I'm extremely jealous. I would way rather have this bike, to be honest, and I was going to offer him money for it. But <laughs> After seeing him ride it and how happy he is, he's going to enjoy this, and this is going to be something he can keep for a while. That's a, What a concept, right? Keeping something for a while. A lot of I people said I'd be down with that, a subscriber to picking yeah, dude, you know, a subscriber awesome. to come yeah, ride. We, you guys deserve it, so. Yeah. Uh, we might just do a big meetup, too, instead of just singling people out. Like, 
you know, maybe once a season, we'll just say, hey, we're going to be at Wayne National Forest, this date, this trailhead. Come ride with us. Somebody, so we got, let's see, somebody asked for some one-wheel content. I can do that. I've been really itching to go one-wheeling. And then somebody said, uh, find a 250X, yeah. sell that ridiculous Helix, and use it to sumo the 450L. You're a little late, bud, because the Helix <laughs> has been sold for quite a while. That Helix is so far gone. Um, That's crap. Man, somebody's like, yeah, if you guys, uh, can y'all have a little party for riders? I live in Colorado, but hey, road trips are fun. Like, that's awesome that you would ride from Colorado or drive from Colorado all the way to come ride with us. That'd be awesome. Oh, my gosh, man. We're going to fit all of us a in here. Shorter. Hang on. You ain't getting in here? No. All right. You can sit back here? No, that's all right. <laughs> all right, let's see what's going on. Yes, go subscribe to Sick of Ohio. Yeah, Tilly as well. Should I get a uh, KX100 or a CRF 150R? Dude, it just depends on if you like the, the two-stroke or not. I would recommend the KX. Easier to start, uh, power's fun, and I just think it's a it's a good bike. What else we got? I have a few local subs and asked about meeting up a few days ago, but I haven't got any takers. Aww. Sorry to hear that, man. Tanner, you seen my frame? Finally out of the shop. Let's check it out. When in doubt, yeah, wrap it out. Frame. Yeah. He wants you to see it. We'll we'll show it to the stream. Someone said bring the bikes to Australia. You really wanted to ride in Australia. Oh, that was was that Russia? Russia. No, that was Russia. Yeah. Do a little trip through Siberia. Wrap it out. I don't see it in my DMs, man. So how am I supposed to see it? Maybe go to his. Dude, he's got like ten different <laughs> names on here. I don't know. Someone said I'll even shave my head to come ride. <laughs> oh my God! Well, that is that's dedication. Right. He's commented a lot. Ben Ben Step. Ben Step's a local dude. Yeah. Shout out to so. him, man. Appreciate you. You don't have to uh, shave your head. I, I really enjoyed meeting you. Uh oh. Would you take two thousand for it? He's asking three. Is that a good starting point for a twenty twenty? Two thousand for it tonight. Oh man! Yeah, I'm going to Tilly's land. The heck, that'd be that would be worth it. And we're gonna go camp out in the woods and break it in. Dude, bet. Be down. Jeff is scared. Everyone, tell him Jeff to get in the video, dude. I'm telling you, man. He, he, Jeff's scared. Jeff's scared, <laughs> man. We got Pol Polaris. Do you want another star. drink? Yeah. My bike doesn't work right now. I have to sure. fix it. Either one. Surprise me. Which one wins in a most fun context, the 250L or 250X? Dude, 250X all the way. I mean, you got the more uh, lightweight frame, Dude. you got better power, and you got a better all-around trail bike, so uh, I would vote the X. Somebody said I'd shave my head, too. You're going to have a whole bunch of subscribe bald-headed subscribers showing up to ride That's with gonna you. That's going to be kind of weird, man, a bunch <laughs> of bald people hanging out in the woods. All right, Jeff, you have like 10 people saying to get yeah, in but here. So I'm sorry, dude. Right, the people sorry. want you. There we go. I'll back the camera up so we don't have to do... There we go. Boom. There we go. There it is. Already subbed to both of them. You guys got a lot. Hey, man. We appreciate you. Um, yeah. Put some questions in here for Mr. Sick of Ohio because I know a lot of you in here watch his channel. So give him some motivation to keep pushing. We live in Ohio. Ohio. Yep. Ohio. Someone said... Oh, how do I like my Tusk brake lever? Yeah, yeah. What was that? Yesterday was the first ride that I rode with it. Was it? It definitely was not. Was it? No. You, you rode with it the last trip. Yeah. Anyways, I like it. I think. Yeah, I really like it. It's definitely, I can feel it better with my boots on and everything, so, and I haven't had any trouble with it bending or any of that, so works great. I love it. What are your thoughts on the 150R? You rode it quite a bit. Dude, I like it. I mean, it's the day and night difference between the 125 and the 150. It feels like a much much bigger bike and it's more comfortable I feel like it's maybe a little more friendly for um, medium or taller riders oh yeah absolutely because it's it's really fatiguing if that's a word to yeah. stand up on the uh, the TTR TTR I mean so <laughs> like I can jump it and stand up right before the jump but it's uncomfortable to just ride through the trails standing up I agree dude I, he, he let me ride it a few times man and I had a blast don't get me wrong dude I was flying on the TTR uh, but it's not a long-term fun. It's like, mm -hmm. man, you get worn out. You would rather be on something Even big. I, when I rode it, like we switched for a good 30, 45 minutes yesterday. And even me riding it, like I was like, it's just, it's a struggle sometimes with it. It doesn't have the, that enough power yeah. to like. But that little bit of extra power, it, it 
day and night difference. I mean, that, on the that's what gets you up the yeah, hill. Yeah, yeah. Is that just a little bit of extra power? And uh, the TTR stalls in second if you try to climb a hill and you're not higher in the RPMs. The RB, I mean, that thing just goes. For sure, dude. That thing's it's a high strung, high compression. And, man, uh, she loves ripping that thing around. Always, she's the loudest bike in the pack, like I always. All right, so this is When in Doubt, Wrap It Out's frame. Check out that candy wow, red. Wow, that looks really nice. Dope. I still, love that. Still a quad, but you know what? <laughs> I almost bought one, so I can't say anything. I actually went and uh, almost picked up an Arctic Cat 650. What do you guys think about that? No. Nope. No. Nope. Not even for farm use no. and fun? I think a three-wheeler is cooler, but, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I support agree. anything. The thing is, dude, after riding that Polaris, man, you can be so lazy, and I still had fun. I'm not going to lie. I, I can't lie. Like, I still <laughs> had fun sending that thing up some hill climbs through some mud holes, and anything that gets you outdoors, I, I can't be a hater of, so. We got a lot of good compliments in here. Like, someone said he's come a long way. It's good to see him on a decent bike. Thanks, man. Yeah, and then someone else said, I watched um, some of Sick Ohio's older videos. Did you ever learn to finish wheeling? Um, No, not really. I mean, as soon as I started getting back to balance point and feeling comfortable with the instinct of pressing on the rear brake, I kind of got that reckless off. So Yeah, dude, he got so, screwed over big time with some bull crap. That was a crappy situation. So, um, Made for a good video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that put a cramp in my style, so I'm, I'm, I'm really liking the trail riding because mm -hmm. you can kind of do whatever you want. And, I mean... I don't feel like, like on the street, I just got so used to popping it up all the time. and Yeah, that's that's another reason why riding off-road is so good because you can, like he said, you can do whatever you want and it's legal fun. Mm -hmm. And dude, you can still learn to wheelie off-road. That's the right. best of both worlds. So yeah. especially on that bike that has enough power, that's the one, dude. Yeah, we'll get him up to speed, man. We'll get him some scraping, some 12 o'clock wheelies. Yeah. Uh, Trevor definitely... asked, oh, sorry. Would the Bras 250 last the way that you ride in the woods? Dude, and we're going to find out. Until yeah. he said, I doubt it. <laughs> until he, we're going to find out. Because I'm going to get some, do some mods to that, get a skid plate for it, throw some handlebars with some bark busters, and we're full sending the Bras. I, I made the final decision, like, I'm going to do everything I do on every other bike to the Bras, and we'll see. We'll see what we have to replace. I'm sure P Sports will hook it up if we do do <laughs> something major. But um, we'll make something happen. Ben Step said, Sick of Ohio's new subscriber right here. Boom, Ben Step. He's a local, um, too. You got to support the locals. Thanks, man. What's Budweiser's channel if he has one? Uh, Sick boom. of Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> Budweiser. He's talking about Boom Hour. No, he's saying oh, Budweiser. Budweiser, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, someone said, I need a White Claw shirt, dude. I <laughs> know, really. Dude, how awesome would that be to have like a Truly or like a White Claw sponsor? MX oh, Guru, so shout out to you because oh, I sure used love. your channel the other day, your video, when I changed my oil. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll give you a shout out so, in a future video, dude, yeah. because uh, I always like to watch a video, even with something basic like yeah. that. It's nice to see, boom, you told us the amounts of oil and everything. You know, it's so easy, one search. I don't have to uh -huh. look up a manual or anything. Boom, boom, we got the oil changed. She like put you know a quart of oil in there so we had to drain some but it's all good you know we got it done and uh we need to get one of those um draining tools because man that's a that's a messy job and it was not fun yeah my bad i'm excited to see the bras deck decked out we had another comment uh, about sick of ohio that I, that we missed um forget what it was oh yeah yeah there it is uh is the registration process going to be a nightmare for this guy? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I think if I... I think I just have to fill out... Well, Tilly's the one who informed me about it. I believe once I get... Since it's already an in-state title, I can just fill out a form and request to transfer it to an on-road title. Um, and it, it should be pretty smooth, but I'll definitely let you know. Follow the channel. And, there you go. Yeah. You don't even have to have an inspection here in Ohio. You just have to raise your right hand, left hand, and say... Uh, that you swear that this, that, and the other is done to the bike. So that's ultimately up to the rider, but, you know, it's pretty lenient here in Ohio. And, uh, Unless yeah. it's out of state. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, anything if, out of state needs an inspection. Exactly. But you could always get the inspections and then go back right. and then do that. Yeah. yeah. So, or you could just do the right things get the horn. I think you have to have a high beam and low beam. And uh, I'm not sure on the turn signals, but I know that you have to have a horn, high beam, low beam. And uh, running light, I'm not sure about taillight. I would assume taillight. But Ohio's pretty chill with that stuff, so we're thankful. At least we're not in, like, California or something like that. 
What are your thoughts on KTM? I've seen that. Uh, KTM, uh, my thoughts have changed a lot. I used to not want to touch them. Uh, Reliability-wise, I've heard horror stories, man. And KTM's, you know, known for a lot of horror stories. Bikes catching on fire, electrical issues. They've come a long way. Aren't they kind of expensive, like, part-wise? Yeah, also parts, dude, and the dealer availability. You're, you're entering a whole different zone when you step into the Euro bikes. And um, I'm ready, though. I'm ready to do something different and get a bike that uh, I can keep for a while and grow on. So we'll Harry, see what we end up with. <laughs> Harry Nutsack with the uh, thoughts is uh, always with the... Facts. You don't have to register oh the bike in any state if you know the laws. Harry, I love you, But he dude, said, but... but nobody cares, I know. <laughs> yeah. No, we care, dude. We I'm, do. You if, shout out some really interesting, like, If we facts. didn't have people like you, like, the world would not be in a good place. Like, we yeah. need people like that that fight and stand up for the Constitution. Like, it's a <laughs> fact. But the fact of the matter is, if we do that, we're just going to get hassled. Like, the other day, we got stopped by the DNR. Like, the last minutes of riding, we got back and they Our thought, bikes are literally loaded up. Yeah, they thought we were running from them, too. And we're like, no, that was a different group. Like, we genuinely didn't see her. And, you know, she asked for the title. And if we wouldn't have had a title, <laughs> um, she wasn't too happy. But she she was nice because we were nice to her. You know, if yeah. you treat any officer with respect, they're going to show it back. I was kind of like, you know, I wasn't the most thrilled with the whole situation because with everything going on right now, the BMVs aren't open. Like, dude. It would be different if it was just a normal, you know, everything was normal, but what do you expect people to do? Uh, nobody, it's so so much gray area. Nobody tells you, oh yeah, you need to have a copy of the title and you need to do this. No, it's just all speculation. So we speculated, brought copies of the titles, in our bill of sales, um, bill yeah. of sales and had our passes, but that's just from, you know, thinking ahead and we're glad we did and mm -hmm. overall live and learn. And uh, this is something that we've never dealt with before, so. I like the story. Story. I was doing wheelies yesterday and I crashed as I was wheeling on the ground. A cop, a wheezing on the ground. A cop rolls up. He made me walk at home and later had a beer with my parents. Now I'm sitting here with a broken foot. Damn. <laughs> That's a good cop, though. That's a good story, too. That is a good story. <laughs> That's one that you can tell years to come. Any western desert trips coming up? Yes. This winter, I am breaking home and getting wild, so... I don't know where I'm going to go, but I'm going to end up somewhere and take the adventure of a lifetime. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. I will probably have to do a different upload schedule because finding internet <laughs> on the road is not going to work out. So, we'll probably try to do the three-day-a-week upload I was going to say, schedule. we tried that in Florida. We had to go to, like, a McDonald's, yeah. and one time it was, like, in the desert. two no. hour upload out of mcdonald's in florida and that was uh, sorry a struggle. guys yes it just can't happen while <laughs> traveling so alexis i gotta say you have been doing awesome on the trails we Thank need you. more comments like that cause, appreciate you know, it we got a lot of critics out there so thanks nutsack she's come a long way she's a good rider and i didn't have to do a single thing over the weekend like with her like she maintains her own and uh knows how to start her bike and knows how to pick it up walk it down hills when she crashes and it's nice to not have to just you hold your own you know it's not a handicap appreciate it appreciate it a beta 200 would be a good next bike for lexus as they're a bit lower yeah the uh what is that the um x trainer the beta x trainer which is actually a 300 too that would be nuts but it's got a super low uh seat height i think you could handle the beast handle she could handle the beast good attitude maybe not this year but i could handle it moab would be <laughs> sick yeah i mean i want to make it to arizona as well Oh, uh, man, I'm on some, like, caving and, like, cliff jumping. Uh... Shout out to Austin Jopa. Sorry. Austin Jopa. He said he has to go, but he wants a shout out. Hey, Austin Jopa, shout out to you. Thanks for hanging around. I wish we knew how many people were actually in the live stream, so for anybody in here, let us know. Thanks, guys. I'm getting a lot of good comments. Yeah, for Lexus' size, she handles the 150 better than any other female, her size and experience. Shout out to Meg's Braps. But, yeah, chili oh, cheese yeah, for then... sure. <laughs> you can't compare me and her. <laughs> <laughs> I was just that's somebody else that I know that's a beast on a 150 oh, yeah. so Alexis is a boss hole cutter is that yeah. Marty <laughs> that is Marty what's up Marty is it yeah it is it is too Beta X Trainer is super mild skinnier doesn't rev out it would be good yeah MX Guru is the guy to talk to about bikes I mean I mean he assembles bikes every day and uh, he's very knowledgeable and tests a lot of them out so uh, all I gotta say is the MX Guru, you will be happy to see my next bike in the future. 
very happy. Somebody, I am five foot even. My wife is five three and wants a two fifty L. Is there a lowering kit or another option? Yeah, you can lower it, dude. But that yeah, thing is a hog. I, yeah. I would not recommend it. I definitely would not be able to pick that bike up in any situation. Yeah, for uh, street use though. It's oh, one hundred percent. And supermoto form because that drops it seventeen inch yeah. wheels. We're gonna get the seat concept I'm lowering so seat. We can drop the forks and the triples, and you won't even have to touch the uh, the lowering link. Oh, I appreciate it, Tilly. What Tilly say? Alexa says, "Come <laughs> so far in just a few rides, she will be blowing me away soon." Yeah, man, you're gonna have a little friendly competition here. See who can hit the jumps first. You should have hit that jump. You definitely should have hit the jump. Oh yeah. I, I don't know about jump. Scare me. Yeah. Jumps really scare me. Dude, that me. jump was so much fun, dude. We'll have like, to. Like I, back I would rather do a hill jump. climb than a jump. I got faith in you, man, because you sent it on the TTR, dude. Oh man. You can send it on that for sure. I'm glad that we convinced you to do it because yeah. I knew you could do it. You cleared it like completely. Yep. That kickstart though, I was gonna hit it again, but. <laughs> Freaking 150 R, oh, man. I know, right? Uh, so we actually flooded it before we did the oil change, oh and I, I was raging, dude. I was kicking it. I was trying to bump start it at midnight in the dark the day before the trail ride. It was rough. I, I thought about burning the bike to the ground, honestly. I, I would have just paid you and burned it. That would have been so satisfying. <laughs> uh, tracks just opened up in Melbourne, so I'm hitting them tomorrow. Alexis doing some uh, 12 o'clock nooners. Yeah, you definitely did on the trails. Oh, on the trails I did. I went th That thing went 360. I did wheelie it over a log like a couple times. She's already better than Boomhauer. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Shout out to Boomhauer, man. Yeah. My wife Krista is 5'2 and rides a 230F on the single track, a KX250F and MX, and a 250L for wow. pool sport. Yeah, dude, like two inches is a big deal. I mean, Alexis knows. Like, if I had two inches, I would definitely feel more confident. It's just me too. confidence. So, it, you know. <laughs> it, oh, my gosh. We got some more. Oh, uh, wow. I always forget what currency that is. But, but I really appreciate the support. And uh, thank you, man. I You know, I do this channel for you guys in the community. Uh, it's just we're hanging out with friends. So that's the way I'm building the channel. Shalom. Uh, she wants... Read that. I can't read. She wants it as a dual sport, um, not as a supermoto. That's the one that. Oh, wants okay. It, I recommend deal. something else then. I was showing her all your videos with Alexis's first trail ride, and she wants to give it a go. I think you should get a CRF 250F and plate it if you live in a state that you can do that, because that would be uh, the best of both worlds with the fuel injection. Um. That Alexis is what is she said. Alexis is a trooper. Said. My wife wanted to start riding street. I bought her an Ninja 250. She dumped it three times in the driveway. It sat in the garage for three years, but she's a boss on her ATV. Get her back out. Give her, let her do it again. TTR! TTR! <laughs> <laughs> um, two inches matters. Oh, facts. <laughs> um, let's see. Jeff, you had uh, the experience of teaching someone to ride yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. Shout out to Laura. So, how was that experience, dude? I think that's like the most rewarding thing. Yeah. It's like teaching someone to ride. Yeah, that was, it went very smooth. She didn't even, she didn't wreck or goose it or nothing. Yeah. So, yeah. she did really she's, well. She's ridden a little bit, like, yeah. but... Has she I ever mean, ridden anything with a clutch, though? She rode the 110L. Um, I don't remember that. Where was that? That's fake news, dude. I don't no, remember that. No, it was at your parents. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that was, like, how long ago? Like, yeah. you forget those things if you don't yeah. do it every day. Right. Like, yeah. and you only do it once. Yeah. So. I don't even think she stole That's, it off the first no, ride, did no, she? No, yeah. not really. But, yeah. I mean, we really worked on the clutch uh, control and, like, the point where it starts to grab, and we just, like sat in that area for a little bit until she was comfortable and then we worked on shifting and so yeah she was just putting around but it was it was a good learning experience Laura's gonna be hitting the trails that's what i no, want to yeah, do absolutely. i'm gonna have yeah. i'm gonna yeah. have one of my best friends with the on the trail with me so that's what That'd i want to awesome. do someday man I, I love teaching people how to ride um jeff definitely took the right approach mm -hmm. um how was i teaching you i don't think I, oh, yeah. I, oh wonderful i was like very nerd like I didn't want to ask him to teach me to ride because I was like really nervous on how that whole experience would go. Yeah. And so, but like, I mean, it was very like, it was like one day he's like, all right, let's, let's go teach you how to ride. Like it was very just sudden. Um, and then that same day, I'm pretty sure you were probably like, all right, you're good. Let's go. <laughs> like, yep. so <laughs> it was fast, but it was, yeah, it was wonderful. And you've taught plenty of other people to ride since then. Like oh, friends, dude, like yeah. my nephew. Kids. Yeah. And that, that's. It's probably one of the most rewarding things that I that I've done. It's just like giving someone the gift of learning how to ride a motorcycle. It's awesome. When did you get the 250X? So if anybody is new, uh, this is Mr. Sick of Ohio's bike. Uh, I figured we'd do this live stream and, and reveal his new machine that I'm extremely jealous about. So 
He picked that up today. What you drove like four hours round trip. I um, like it. Yeah. I, I've done worse, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a, a little bit of distance. But man, he got it last second. I don't think he would have got it if you waited another day. Nope. So man, it was a good deal. Uh, the guy, whoever owned it, took care of it. I could tell. And man. Somebody said I got out on a 150 RB for the first time this year. The 150 RB was smoking the 250S. Hey, hell yeah, dude! I smoked you when you were on the what? The four wheeler. The four wheeler. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was on a. What is that? A 400 I Polaris. I thought you were like just letting me go. I didn't realize. No, it. I was full speed on the Polaris, and <laughs> there goes Alexis on the 150. Every time we hit a straightaway, I'm on the 125. She's on the 150. Oh yeah. Pull way ahead. So. <laughs> They're quick, man. Hence on the next bike. Um, yeah, it's got a couple less strokes. That's all I can say <laughs> as of now. And I, I man, if, if the planets align, dude, I'm going to be the happiest guy on earth and uh, have some amazing content for you. But, you know, I'll just leave that to the hands of others. And if not, I'm still trying to find a KDX. I really want a KDX. I have to have one. It's one of those bikes that. Man, whose video was that? I doubt he'll see this, but shout out to... I think that was the Dirt Bike channel. Um, he did this awesome review on the KDX, and he's a very talented rider. He completely sold me on getting one, and I didn't get to finish. That's what I was talking about. The whole trip that I had planned to Chicago, I was going to meet... I was really skeptical about going to Chicago. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I know there's good parts, but, I mean, it's Chicago. And... Uh, <laughs> Thankfully, it was like right off the highway. She gave me a place to meet everything. I was able to even look at her Facebook profile and find pictures of the bike from them riding. So that's always like I knew it wasn't a setup. And man, I was so excited. It was a steal. Um, 1900 bucks for a uh, mint condition KDX 200. It was a 2003. It had low hours and oh man. I was ready to go. I was ready to load up and go. At last second, she sold it. I was going to take the KX 100 sell it to the girl who bought it because she lived up near Michigan and I was going to go to Bundy Hill, um, attend the hill climb event, enter the hill climbs on a bike that I just bought and it would have been freaking epic, man, but she, she ruined, ruined my plans, dude. But, you know, I got to spend time with, uh, you know, the boys and girl, so, it, you know, it you know, happens for a reason. You just kind of got to go with the flow. I'm not butthurt and bigger things are planned. Get a monkey with dirt tires. Dude, I would love to have that a monkey. That would be awesome. Monkeys that would be fun. so sick. I would yeah. send it at Wayne. I've seen monkey. a couple ones that, like, that are stunted, and oh man, they look oh, yeah. so good and clean. They do. That red, dude. I love the red color. Oh yeah. The seats sick. are so comfortable. And... Yeah, over the ground. Oh, I, just, I would way rather have the monkey, but I got something special that I think I'm going to do <gasps> to the ground. I think I decided oh, to do the, the frame swap nice. and uh, do the CRF125. Uh, I even offered my bike for that because it looks yeah, so good. It's pretty sick because I, I want to get into kayaking and I think that's going to be the ultimate vehicle recovery. So like I can have the kayak and I can have the Grom and uh, you know we can offload the kayak. I can go park the pussy puller or uh, Tesla <laughs> and um, I can get on the Grom. What should I even call it? I mean after I do the... CRF 125. Yeah, it really it's a, a dirt wow. bike. It's a mini dirt bike. It's yeah. going to be awesome. And I can go ride that back, chain it up. I'll have a chain with me. I'll chain it up around a tree wherever we launch. And then we'll be able to haul back and forth. That's like the perfect thing. Because I like I uh, kayaking on the river kind of too, rather than just in a lake sometimes. So I think it'd be pretty sweet. I found these two cars. Whether it ever happens or not, I don't know, man. We still got to build a supermoto. So I don't know what the hell is going to go on. What color will the new bike be? I can't say. Um, There's a lot of gray area. I, not white. It might be. I don't know. Say, in a perfect world, the bike will be blue or white. Or blue and white. And maybe some... Oh man, that's too much. Shut it down. That's <laughs> it. A Grom yak. Yeah, dude. We could probably fit the Grom in the yak, dude. Some of those kayaks. Oh He's into kayak fishing. I'm do not. You, do no. you have a kayak? Yeah. yeah we oh have two gosh. kayaks. Um, they're very basic kayaks, but... I just fished with two fishing poles over by uh, Allen Creek and Hoover Dam, if you have any idea where that is. but Somebody um, does. There's some locals. Yeah, there's some decent fish in there. I mean, any chance I get to go out to, like, bigger ponds, um, that's a lot of fun because, I mean, you catch a bigger size bass or a catfish, man, they pull you all around, and that's just part of the experience. It's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the past couple, probably two years, I haven't had much luck at all in Ohio fishing. But I'm going to keep at it. and I mean, I tried to make my channel more about fishing, but 
Dude, I can shape it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, It'll be a cool thing because Tanner wants to get one big enough that Diesel can come with him. Um, and that'll, that's something great because, like, Diesel can't come trail riding with us. So <laughs> Yeah, man, that's the biggest Diesel likes downfall. to go everywhere with Tanner, so. That's the biggest downfall of having a dog and liking motorcycles. Be different if I had a smaller dog too. I could take it more places, but it's like <laughs> taking a full size human with you. It just doesn't work out, especially in the summer when it's hot. Like I can't leave him in the car. Sure, I could leave it running, but like, what the fun is that for him? So yeah, yeah. it sucks. It really does. But he would absolutely love to be on a kayak and like swimming and all of that. That's he would. It's great. Is it comfortable being bald, dude? Being bald is like freedom uh yeah it's absolute freedom you wake up (laughs) i wake up wash my face and i look like i did you know when i went to sleep it's awesome bald eagle is that what you're gonna (laughs) call me the bald eagle i like that because of freedom bald eagle bald eagle represents freedom bald eagle yeah so how many people how many in here want me to keep the bald look oh my god i mean but what like what drop it down in the comments i don't know i don't care drop it down in the comments how many people want me to stay bald did you just raise your hand no yeah Damn it, Jeff. I don't think it's going to happen, but you know, if people are interested, I don't know. I want the mullet. How many people want the mullet? Yeah, I think the mullet would be sweet. I'm not jocked in on uh, Fooligan. Shout out to Mr. Fooligan. Dude, I haven't talked to him it. in a while. Yeah, he, dude, he, he does, does rock it. Yeah. That's good. The mustache is so thick, dude. It's like a beautiful mustache. <laughs> Get a razor for Diesel. Dude, that would be perfect because he would love that, man. He's a really well-balanced dog. Back when I had the Jeep, man, and we were... I still have it, but it doesn't run. But we would... <laughs> go off-roading dude oh he loves it he he, He doesn't get sick or anything i would be like sending (laughs) that thing bouncing it off of stuff and he's he loves it he's all about it he has actually one wheel too we put i don't think we've ever released Uh -uh. this like but we actually put him on the one wheel like in the house and um yeah i mean we just like helped him kind of we like obviously had a hold of him but he did really well i mean (laughs) andrew says i thought i would hate it but you kind of look cute though oh man (laughs) thanks andrew Grow it mullet. back, mullet. Grow it back, mullet. Stay bald. No, stay mullet. bald. Dude, it's split right now. It is pretty split. Watching uh, Fate of the Furious is sucks without Paul Walker. So, yeah, rest so in peace. keep the bald only if you grow up pork chop sideburns. Oh, dude, that ain't happening, man. <laughs> I actually did shave my beard. Yeah, looks good. Tanner just got my first dirt bike. Kalex 110. Hey, shout out to Sender Sean, dude. That's a great first bike. Uh, rode sand and only dropped it once on a log. That's pretty wow. good. Yeah, sand's not easy to ride in. No, I don't have much experience in it. They got a lot of Michigan, so we'll have to make some trips too. You know, get out of the our elements someday. Right. Casey in here. Oh, what's up, Casey? How you doing, man? Hope to see you uh, this winter probably. Get a TW two hundred, dude. I love those bikes, man. The fat tire on those things. I'd love to get one and just mud bog it. That yeah, maybe that's the thing we should snorkel. That would be dope. Can you wheelie that? Oh, yeah. yeah. You can wheelie it. Yeah, for sure. Dude, that's what I took my uh, learner's course on, and I wheelied it. They, oh, yeah. got, they got pissed, too. Really? Oh, yeah. Did you mean to wheelie it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, it was like an accident. No, but, dude, they, we had the maneuverability course on that thing, and I was like, killing it, man. I love that Did you wheelie bike. through the maneuverability course no. and show yeah, everybody? Probably they, they probably would have been qualified. Oh, they probably would have been like, all right, here's your... I overshot the, the landing on one. Like, you had to get up to a certain speed and mm-hmm. then stop. Dude, I freaking was flying i came out of this turn and i couldn't get it stopped in time so that's the only thing i messed up because i was getting cocky some dude crashed this big ass cruiser did they why pass they it? why they had yeah he didn't pass why they did have this big ass cruiser i guess you know that's what some people choose as their first bikes but i mean it was a full size like suzuki uh cruiser and yeah he laid it down <laughs> that sucks this big bald dude i remember that it was me and my mom. I think she did it on a TW200 as well. Or maybe she did it on a Shadow. I don't remember. That was fun, though. It really was. Do a bike wash vid. Mm-hmm. Jacob, are you the one who asked? Because I just yeah. filmed one earlier today. So it's pretty pretty fun. Do you too. mean riding a bike through the car wash? No. Because you did that before, no, 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 and it was no, no, no. pretty miserable for him. Yeah, and that didn't do do very well. So shave the beard and go Mr. Clean. No, we're not doing that. The beard's staying. I like it. Uh, New Jersey has some good sand pits. Yeah, we need to make a sand trip. I want to get a paddle tire on something and send it. Dude, the, the, Tanner said, my name is Tanner and I have a mullet and I ride a 150R. Damn, it's a weird world. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's Franklin. Uh, 50K oh. subs and the beard and the eyebrows go. Not happening. Seems like a Honda oh Fat Cat. God. That's kind of weird to like look at you and just imagine literally all hair completely gone off your face take forever to grow those eyebrows back dude yeah they're barely there it is it is, it is. what about the yz 250x yeah that's on the list rubicon if i can find a good deal i would not be opposed uh, t-dubs are good 
Yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody, for hanging around. Mm -hmm. Drop some comments in here. Um, any comments for uh, Sick of Ohio? And this, you know, the stream is about revealing his new bike. So shout out to him. I'm going to go ahead and drop a link to his channel down in the description below. So make sure you sub to his channel. Show some love. Uh, what kind of content you got coming soon? Oh, man, all trail riding. I mean, I'll do a little bit of street riding, maybe group rides, um, big group rides. But other than that, I mean, I'm really focused on the trails and trying new bikes and having fun learning as much as I can. So I really like to learn how to wheelie. I really like to learn how to, I mean, do more technical stuff like uh, jumping logs and just, logs. Yeah. Dude, I love your your URL. Be Daddy Duga. Oh my gosh! It's Subscribe to Be Daddy awesome. Duga. I changed that. I was like looking forward to getting a hundred subscribers I didn't know you so could, I could change that. I yeah. didn't know you could change your URL. Yeah. Yeah. You need to change yours. I know. I go back and like forth on changing one. my channel name all the time. So I nah. have it. What do you think about the channel name? Keep it. Attention deficit. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. He, go, he does. You're he goes so, back and forth, even though he's yeah, asked yeah. people like all the time, and everybody, like, everybody's well, always Well, here's what I thought about. It. Give me your honest opinion. I thought about changing it, and I still go back and forth of changing it to Tanner AD, like Tanner Rad, because my last you know letter is R, uh, so it'd be like Tanner Rad, but it still remains that Tanner attention deficit. So I feel like that kind of encompasses both worlds, and I don't offend anybody or, or have like right. I feel like it's easier yo subscribe to Tanner Rad yo, subscribe to atten you know how many syllables that is attention deficit right. yeah. I still don't know the abbreviation exactly so. ATDFCT it's right. so hard for some people yeah. Keep I see in. people out in traffic I'm like hey uh, subscribe or whatever somebody asks like you got a YouTube channel I'm like yeah uh, attention deficit and like what or like uh, yeah ATDFCT on Instagram nobody's gonna remember that right and uh, I don't know. What do you think? Dude, Tan Tanner Rad or just I, keep I the do, attention deficit? I do like that. But I think you should do a poll. Do, it. do a poll? Ask yeah. the peeps? Yeah, ask the peeps. All right. I'll do it again. I'll ask everybody, but I already know the answer. Keep the channel name or Tanner Rad. Dude, that's a good name, though. That I love that, name. dude. I love it. It just rings off the tongue, man. Yeah. Oh, we got any comments, Lex? I'm typing. Um, somebody asked if have you written a WR200. WR200, no. Have you ever ridden an XT250? I got one last month and I love it. So my dad actually had that bike. Um, or was it the 225? Uh, let me see. Let me uh, determine that. Somebody had a question for you, Jeff. Mr. Sick of Ohio, are you really sick of Ohio? I am absolutely so sick of Ohio. It's been like <laughs> beautiful three days in the past like month. Yeah, yeah dude, and then rough. it's pouring rain. It's yeah. rough. Oh my gosh, it's so flooded and... but. I mean, Ohio is beautiful, and but I am sick of Ohio. I mean, I've grown up here, and I mean, I don't have much experience traveling around the United States. Do you um, want to like move like permanently somewhere, or do I you want to stay in Ohio? I do, but I mean, I see. I feel like if I don't move at some point later in my life, I'll regret it. Oh, you'll absolutely regret so, it. So I mean, yeah. I may as well try it. And I mean, if I need to come back, I mean, absolutely. But I mean, the winters kill me, man. Oh yeah, like, dude, it's but a buzz, it's though. not even the winter. It's like six or eight months out of the year. It's just like Crap. oh, it's horrible. Yeah. I agree, hundred percent. I do love Ohio. Good friends, good family. Yeah, I mean, dude. Now we found Wayne. It's there's, yeah. there's purpose in it. So. That's what's hard for me. Like, yeah, I don't like Ohio weather, but like, yeah. you move and like, you know, it's just hard. You can't trail ride every weekend with the same people you've been. You know, that, that, right. things like that. Yeah. But you, just a. Right. So yes, I'm absolutely cons. sick of Ohio. Yeah, <laughs> me too. At this point, like that's why I think the balance for me and not everybody oh, can man. do this is to spend the winters somewhere else like during the winter i want to travel the entire winter this time and uh, thankfully my you know a lot of stuff dies down as far as you know taking care of the property and whatnot so i have the freedom to uh to get out and explore so this winter phew, seeing the world what's up it's pretty equal I mean, it's we, pretty equal it with the tanner is, yeah tanner rad tanner rad to be honest it, i like tanner rad keep attention deficit to be honest i like tanner rad uh, attention deficit should stay tanner, tanner rad, rad is sick, sick. Tanner Rad seems cool. Holy shit. Um, let's see. I'm with Jeremy. I don't know what Jeremy said. Oh, hey, make, make Jeremy! a second channel for other activities and name it Tanner Rad. I, dude, I don't have time for two yeah. channels as of now. No you way. put all activities on this channel. Yeah, I so do. it's not really like, I don't know what would go on there. Used to be a trans carpenter. Um, we need to get Jeff out on some travels. travels yeah. Sure. We all move away and then somehow always end up back where we That's started. That's a lot of people do, man. Yeah. But the biggest thing is just getting out and seeing the world. And I think traveling enough will will, uh, will help me, you know, maintain Appreciate my peace with Ohio. It here, yeah. 
Because don't get me wrong, it's awesome. I like having seasons. I think if it was nice all year, you would not appreciate it. You would get used to it. So when we have these beautiful days, dude, you look at the sky. You look at the, the, every, all, everything that's green. Yeah. The, the trees, like, it's so much more uh, to appreciate when it is nice. Oh, I agree. Somebody said you have to keep attention deficit because of the sign on the wall. <laughs> what are you talking about? Tanner Red. It, it does say AD I mean, on it. Because I'm not dropping the attention deficit. It's still um, attention deficit. But that way, a lot of people don't even know my name at first. Because I don't, I don't start videos. Hey, guys, it's Tanner. What's going on? Or So, I don't know. That's tough. I don't know. We'll do a poll. What do you think it should be, Alexis? That's really hard. I just have my heart set on attention deficit just because that's what it's always been. And I feel like... What you're known as, like yeah, I agree. Do you see my drink? But I can still be known as attention deficit. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. See what I'm saying I'm right. not dropping attention deficit. Right. I'm just making it shorter. It's abbreviation, just like my Instagram, that ATDFCT Tannerad. There it is. Some kid already has that, but I offered to buy it from him. He said he <laughs> would. Yeah. Man, that, that is really hard. And Alexis uh, Rad. There you go. Yeah, that's really hard. Do you do need to start your own channel? She's editing now. <laughs> She's got a new Mac. She's like on it. Like, there's no reason you shouldn't. Like, I don't know. Unless Tanner wants to just use your footage. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah. So everything that has me in it is no longer gonna be on your channel. I don't have a channel. I'm anymore. just kidding. All right. Who would subscribe to Alexa? Stop. If I'm she not had gonna a channel? have a. I'm not gonna start if. a channel. Nah. That's like too much work for Tanner too. Cause like, there's a lot of editing I don't do. <laughs> So I'd be like, Tanner, can you finish this? Can you do this? But I just like, when I start a new job and stuff, I don't think I'll have the, I don't have enough content. I'm disappointed. I don't know. Maybe, maybe one of these shit, years. shit, Dano. I'm going to oh, send that right awesome. back to you, man. I appreciate you, Dano. Thank you for the love. I hope to see you soon as well, dude. We need to get you on a machine, dude. You need to get out here and enjoy some trips. And uh, maybe I'll have something you can ride soon. So we appreciate the support. Uh, thank you. Definitely. Uh, check out Dano. He's a streamer. Check him out on Mixer. And, uh, shout out to him, man. Shows a lot of love. I appreciate it. Make another channel. Call it Captain Redbeard. Dude, I feel like my beard looks less red when it's short. I agree. You agree? Oh, yeah. 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 It was like flaming red. Oh, dude. It was freaking on fire. Like it burned my face. The Nest Mega Brap per Crystal. Oh, the next X, yeah. Mega, Mega Brap. Uh, Tanner subs would drop. Nah. I did good before. Facts. Sorry. I texted Alexis about the YZ125X and the YZ250X yes, on Instagram. Yes, I told you about that. Yeah. Uh, is that Gramatron? No, this is Mr. Sick of Ohio. This is Jeff. My name is Jeff. He, uh, this is the man who flies through the hills, dude. Flies through the vines. But uh. Hi from Hungary. I'm kind of hungry, too. I haven't eaten yet. I know. Me, too. Yeah, I think we're going to wrap this up, guys. It's been over an hour. I'll get out of the way, get my bald head out of Show here. Show the nice bike. And, uh, dude, I, I just can't express how excited I am for Jeff to have this beautiful piece of machine right here. Uh, this is, like, as good as it gets for a trail bike, a four-stroke trail bike. And for something that's uh, cheap to own, it's super reliable. I mean, this is Honda's finest. Like, this is where Honda gets its name from, is machines like this. You know, carries over from uh, the air-cooled bikes, and, and this, you know, stands true to the name. Um, even though it's, you know, got a lot more power, this, that, and the other, it's still a, a reliable, uh, fantastic machine that he's going to enjoy, and I'm super jealous of. The Recluse Clutch is a game-changer, and he's just going to take his riding to the next level, and it's going to take his confidence riding and his fun to the next level, because he's going to be able to do everything that I do or, you know, whoever else does like he doesn't have a bike holding him back so this finally has something full size and i definitely think it was the right move so yeah look forward to some crf 250x 450l content while i have it 150 rb content you know constant i know you guys like that bike and uh and a lot of hondas around here mm -hmm. freaking honda email me Dicks. Someone just uh, said Hondas are the best. Da, 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 yeah, da. He needs a, to take the Chinese bike out again. I will. Someone said, My name Jeff. My name Jeff. <laughs> My name Jeff. Someone <laughs> said, Love the way you send it, Jeff. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. He does send it, man. Most of the time, if I tell him to do something, 
He's doing it. Yeah. And uh, most of the time, it's just, you know, I want him to learn stuff. The only way you're going to learn stuff is by, you know, not making mistakes, but making mistakes. And uh, just trying new things. Like, sometimes, as people, like, you know, you hold back on things, and you need a little bit of encouragement. Her. I'm like, Lexus, go down that hill. Jeff, go down that hill. Yeah, you guys crash. You roll <laughs> usually, up. You got it. Usually, it's always, like, we look at each other, me and Jeff, and we're like, okay, I'll do it if you do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's always that. It is, too. <laughs> So yeah. I'll follow you. Which one of us is going first? At the end of the day, like it's all uh, good-hearted, and it's just for them Absolutely. to learn. Absolutely. So, right. Unless you're Gramatron, you just set him up right for it. Oh, Gramatron enjoy. I feel like he enjoys doing that stuff. Though. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, man, take it through this mud hole. Oh, um, hey, that's pull awesome. Hey, full go home. Thank you, LX Gaming. I appreciate the the donation. Thank you much. Have a great week, Justin. Yee Yee TV. What's up, man? Good to hear from you guys as always. Uh, can't thank you enough for the support. Awesome com community. Uh, see you later, Tilly. Thanks for, uh, yeah. Check out Tilly's channel as well. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's channel. Bye, Tilly. Everybody that's in here. MX Guru. I know we got a lot of YouTubers in here. We can't appreciate uh, the support enough. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff, get in here. Give some final thoughts. Um, you know, tell everybody Jeff what to expect. Jeff has a man's bike now. Yeah, he does, dude. <laughs> You're a big boy. I'm, I'm He's all grown up. up. <laughs> He's grown up. Grown up. <laughs> But I'm, I'm stupid excited to just to get back on the trails. Um, yeah, this upcoming weekend, it's going to be a muddy mess. So uh, I'll be struggling with it a little bit, but that's always uh, a lot of fun to watch. Good content. Yeah, that's great content. So, I mean, if you're any any anywhere like me, semi-new to off-roading, I mean, definitely subscribe. You can watch me struggle so you don't feel so bad. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, thanks, big thanks to Tanner. I mean, he really he set me up to, to succeed. Uh, by sending me down the roughest path, so for sure he really helped me. Uh, he introduced me to trail riding, so appreciate that, man. Yeah, man, appreciate it. It's all love, dude. It's all it's about, and I love riding with these guys. And you know, I met the uh, the best of friends through bikes and stuff. So and YouTube. I mean, I if I didn't start this YouTube channel, I wouldn't know you. I wouldn't know a lot of people. Like all my friends now, I've met through the riding scene and through doing yeah, YouTube. So really. It's changed my life, and uh, that's, that's my passion. So it's his as well. So shout out to him, and uh, yeah, man, keep growing, keep doing your thing, dude, and you'll break, you'll break it, you'll break out. Thanks. I'm yeah. working hard at the YouTube channel, so for sure, we'll keep her going. We'll have plenty of stuff for you guys. So stay tuned for Brokebacks. Stay tuned for trail rides, and man, we need to do some more like camping, uh, bushcraft stuff, oh, building I'm shelters, so excited like. For that caving like i've been watching caving videos that have been getting me like you know insanely excited to just get out we there we spent and live. like yeah what like two oh, yeah. hours the other night like trying to crawl through any like small place that we have in the house yeah yeah just for practice there's like the military he's either gonna break you or make you Facts. that's a good one yeah, yeah man it's all love I always enjoy the live chats yeah thanks i love doing this man every sunday 7 p.m we get in here talk and have fun Mm -hmm. So thank you all for watching. I will not stop talking, so I'm probably just going to end the stream. 450. Yeah. Love you guys, and uh, thank you for the support. See you in the next one. Bye. Thanks.